Hey, I'm back to Abu Dhabi now for this is Thursday. I was back on Sunday and it's a day nine, I think, after the surgery or day 10, but I because I had opening as well on the day two, uh, it makes it day nine, I guess. So I just wanted to record um, my diary of my recovery. Today uh, was the day that I really f started feeling better and um, I feel like I am finally starting to recover. Yesterday I did have a massage, like a lymphatic massage, something that doctor is recommending. Uh, I'm gonna have another one tomorrow but uh when i came back uh yeah maybe i was also a bit tired from the flight and what else was happening is yeah i was really really quite swollen for a few days so um maybe day seven uh, day six and seven it started healing but it uh, the lower part was really quite swollen and uh, yeah I'm supposed to wear this corset so I guess I'm just gonna take content in this new way where I'm gonna be wearing corset as well which probably is not super bad and yesterday was the first day that I was going to a mall and I was driving it was not super bad driving is okay I think uh, whenever you're sitting it's normal when you're moving uh, it feels slightly out of balance because uh, your body like my body still tilts forwards a bit cannot really walk straight although I think I could I should do it uh, this car is healing pretty well. I'm gonna go in a minute and I'll show you what's happening. It's um, it's me. I was doing the meeting. I was um, going to a, a breakfast with a friend, with a neighbor here in my area. And that's why I'm dressed up pretty well. It's not for uh, making content. So the other day I was actually trying to do more work by, you know, like sitting and taking photos of some items. <laughs> I got so tired. So this made me realize, oh my God, like this is really much more difficult than I expected. I expected it to be more much easier but it hasn't been full two weeks yet so i guess it's very much normal so i'm wearing this under my clothes i just get the black ones in terms of style wise i didn't prepare i should have gotten a nude one as well just to go with all the white outfits and uh, this one is uh, i have like two fahas uh, one is a bodysuit style like this one and the other one is with the feet the one with the feet is much more comfortable this one is like a bodysuit that's really pushy <laughs> and my crotch area and like now i think i have lost a little bit of swelling and water retention here it actually is slightly better but a few days ago i couldn't wear this because it was just pushy too much and i have quite a long torso like and i have a size extra small i don't know maybe i should have gone for a bigger size but it would be also wider here so i just try to put the straps down basically and this is a bit uncomfortable so the other day i was like really swollen in the lower area and yeah this is painful so whenever you do something just if you work just like work from home uh, you don't want to be somewhere where you can't just like lay down but i feel like it's it's slowly getting there and i also have to tell you that it was i had a moment two days ago where i did i started having like doubts like regrets like oh my god anastasia like you were fine you didn't have to do it and i was always like blaming myself to to do it or like my husband because he didn't do enough research and he wouldn't tell you like, oh no don't do it you look amazing the way you are he was just like it's up to you like you want to do it and uh, yeah then now when i feel better i was like okay i'm kind of happy and I'm feeling uh, that I'm healing re really better, but like in this area, in the ab area where it was put together, it's most painful, I'd say. It's really uncomfortable. So my biggest like possible regret would be that I lost my natural belly button that I had and it was gorgeous. It, I'm just like looking at the pictures that I had. I had a lot of pictures of like myself from before the kids and it was just perfect, honestly. 
Uh, so this is gonna be like a little tribute to my beautiful belly button that my mother <laughs> birthed me with. Uh, it was so gorgeous, but then yeah, it was not the same after two pregnancies. Unfortunately, I'm so glad I didn't have any piercings, but it is what it is. And I was worried that I'm gonna have this like plastic, fantastic look, and my abdomen would be completely like flat and like not sexy with the line. But I can see now that by wearing a garment, it kind of shapes the skin. And I think when I start to work uh, to work out. I'll be doing like a lot more exercise and stretches and I think eventually it will adjust and it will look, look super natural. Let me show you this car. Uh, yeah, so in here it's where it is super uncomfortable at a hospital. It was like this, you wouldn't wear any uh, underwear but they would put a padding which would be weird. Uh, but it felt better like when it's just like touching your skin it is not comfortable. I wish there was another solution. Uh, yeah, now you will see how uh, the scarring looks like. So this is just really squished by the garment. And this is the new belly button, which uh, will, I think, it will look really good and natural. I did send pictures of my three kids. Um, so they try to place it in the same area because my uh, I didn't have so much extra skin. So this is where my old belly button is that's why uh, if you're slimmer you're gonna have a t-scar uh, which some people did not expect I think I had a, a girl messaging me she didn't expect to have a t-scar I guess because she didn't have a like live in consultation with the doctor but that's what it is and it's kind of like looks a bit red but it's also healing pretty well it just has a little bit of um, like peeling and I have to apply uh, the creams uh, just to make sure it's all clean but look I think it's already like getting there really nicely and the measurements although it's still swollen it was getting better day by day so in another week in another two weeks it will be so so much better uh, i didn't have any liposuction has uh, at the beginning he said like maybe you'll have some liposuction here but actually he said like okay maybe we'll just do it here in the middle and i think it's just here to have this line they did it it's still not completely showing and actually it was in this area where i had the hematoma so maybe that was to do with the liposuction and it was really not something that probably i should have done well it's not like i didn't even just say it just didn't just like no don't do it just like okay i'll do it for free i feel like okay uh, whatever uh, but i think i'm happy i didn't do anything else uh, yeah, sorry, it's a little bit too much for you. <laughs> Don't look, I think. Um, as long as I feel better, I will be happy. And next week I'm traveling, so I probably will give you updates in two days, uh, three days, when I'm gonna be in a hotel. Hey, I'm two weeks now after my surgery, and I've, as you can see, I've upgraded my garment to this one. I'm still slightly swollen or bloated at this time of month but um, I think I'm happy to look at the waist and I'm almost uh, completely back to my activity levels and it was maybe two days ago that I realized that I can stand almost straight same as I could before. Maybe that's with the support of this amazing garment so it's like some colombian brand i'll try to link it on amazon for you and this is just a zara top that i'm wearing on top uh this car is healing pretty well you have to you know massage everything and care about the scars i might post a picture of how this car looks like but that's uh everything else is fine and uh I could say that I almost feel normal, it's just by the end of the day it gets a little bit more swollen sometimes and if, especially if you eat salty food and if you don't drink enough water it could be a bit worse. So that's it. Yes, yeah, so um, total for four weeks after tummy tuck now and but it's less than one calendar month, tomorrow will be the full month. I have two more weeks uh, to stay away from exercising but I've started doing light cardio, just like long walks because the restriction means that 
you might be prone to gain a bit more weight, which I think is happening to me. At the beginning, it looks a bit more like swelling in this area, although this is so much tighter already and smaller, but still like water retention under the muscles and under the skin layers. And um, this is still healing. So yeah, the goal would be to keep active uh, as much as possible and as much as it's gonna be safe for the next uh, two weeks and then start slowly um, start going exercise it but I think I'm gonna still avoid any core work that would be direct scrunches that would be a no-no probably for a year just want to make sure to recover fully and what I found out that probably it was after my you know two pregnancies that I didn't do a full completely recovery i went to the gym a bit faster than i should have and that caused a more like severe separation uh but i'll show you the results now i'm not wearing my compression garments so this is the waistline and uh, in terms of measurements it's already what i want in the mornings i'm usually 58 in this area which uh is my you know, pre-kids waist size, I'm really happy with that. And this is just a compression of shorts that I currently wear. And as you can see, this is really flat. So this is just something that I'm used to and it wasn't completely flat. Um, probably uh, mostly due to that C-section scar, like the bulge. Uh, so I, yeah, I'm really happy, although like there's still some weakness. But on some days, I can actually say that I feel a lot more uh, strength in a core already. Like it started a few days ago and I feel like I could do a really long run or walk well before I never actually felt like I had enough strength in like this core maybe to do a really long run. I would always like get really tired. So I'm gonna get, give it a try. So I feel like I'm in my 20 year old body, which is amazing because I, I felt my body the same way that it, it was before my pregnancies. So I think that's awesome. And I'm gonna show you my scar and this is the belly button. Everything's still quite uh, red, but it's healing. Um, the belly button is here. The plan is to, uh, when I will be able to go, on the beach and the pool in two weeks i'm gonna do some tanning so this will look a lot more natural and this is how the scar currently look looks alike as just on this t-junction there is still uh, a little um, healing going on the rest is fine and this they use the silicone thread that is called bicryl to close it so it's it has been like going outside and you have to just trim it because if it pulls out completely it might open and on this side i think it was the ending so i think they started so on this side and then from the on this side but this is everything is like really even like no strains because during my first section I, they've been sewing, sewing, and like they put like a like a lot of the things inside, and everything just was like messy and disaligned, and yeah, and I even feel like yeah, there's a little bit like pulling um, on the hip bones, but it's gonna be beautiful. Like the skin is gonna be not just like sagging down and upward, but it will be stretched around the waist and the hip bones like it used to be in my previous life so yeah i'm really happy with that say but still there's some days where i feel a bit low and what i wanted to say that it hasn't been like really light and you don't feel 100 percent still so i try to treat it as my third like <laughs> pregnancy recovery but making sure i just I'm aware of all of my movements, so even, you know, some people are really careful with what they do with their bodies. I think I'm one of those people who like, who's really fast and even the nurses at the hospital were like stopping like, can you just like be more calm? So even when you lay down on your bed and you want to raise, uh, don't go from the front. You just need to pull on the side and gently stand from the side. This is 
what everybody should do if they have the stasis or after delivery because if you're pulling too much on this muscle uh, yeah initially like if you do it without any core problems it means you have a strong core but it was made weaker by some factors then to make it heal you will need to avoid doing that crunch so that's uh, what I think you should keep in mind and I'll give you uh, my next updates uh, in a week time Hi everybody, uh, this is my post-surgery update I'm at, at week 6 so it's been 6 weeks post-surgery and it is officially you are healed, you're considered quite recovered and uh, there is no need to wear a compression suits anymore so I'm back to my filming and I'm gonna start gently exercising this week uh, last week I just did a lot of like cardio just like running walking uh, lightly not engaging too much muscles and I actually stopped wearing my compression last week as I uh, had was doing some research and actually in America and in, in, in some other countries women are not wearing any compression and it's believed to help them recover better. After you stop wearing you actually feel more weakness but then in a week or two weeks you feel uh, normal again and I think it's for breathing because breathing is really important um, to engage everything here uh, so i'm just going to focus on some light activities uh, stretches pilates maybe uh, swimming and i can finally go back to i can have a bath i can start swimming and i can go to the sauna which i really miss so idea is to go to some uh, health club maybe join a health club for a month or two months to give my body uh, what i feel like i want and I'm just gonna show you my uh, belly button. Uh, it still is healing. There's no scabs, but uh, the scar is kind of a reddish. There's still some swelling in this area, but the measurements are great. So in total for now, I lost three, uh, three to four centimeters in a waistline. And this was mostly about diastasis. So my diastasis was 4.2 my waist before like pregnancies and uh, deliveries were was always about 57 58 centimeters which as i said did a great proportion with my small chest area and my hips are uh, my bottoms uh, is a bit more rounded but it's not actually quite wide here so for me it was important to create a line that would uh, you know, be make a triangular balance look, and the main scar is also still healing, and uh, it's looking like this at the moment. So this is a T junction, and there's a little bit of scarring, but I think it's gonna go away uh, when I have a bath, probably this week. And uh, this is everything is flat here. The only downside um, for now that I can see, I don't have as much definition as I used to have. I guess it's uh, to do with the swelling and I really hope to uh, get that definition again. Uh, maybe I'll do more massages. I think I can feel there's something inside. I think they put a mesh or something to hold these things together. Um, so I'm gonna just check with the doctor again. But on a good side, I could feel myself being so much stronger now and my posture improved I don't you know do like this anymore when I yeah sometimes I can feel myself like when I relax and I push my uh, belly to the forwards when I relax but I can feel it's wrong that I then can remember that okay this is the right position and then I can feel that I, I'm gonna really improve my posture and the way um, the general presentation actually depends a lot on this and I also feel like I could start like doing really long cardio uh, as I used to do them before I had the kids I could do like seven to ten uh, kilometers jogging running uh, without getting really tired because I could feel that I have that strength 
and after my deliveries, it definitely was compromised. So whenever I did sport, I could not feel the strength that I used to have in my body. So um, when I will be training a lot more, I'll give you more feedback on how that improved. So, but so far I'm really happy. I don't even feel like doing any more shopping because everything that I have just like looks so great. And I'm just gonna continue like wearing everything that I have. And then maybe next season um, when I'll be either like more toned, um, uh, I'll add some, you know, cut out dresses and tops. Things like that, I hope this was useful and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any more questions and I'll try to reply to every one of your comments or feel free to DM me. Um, so see you in my next one.